I'm sitting here with uh, Mr. Joe Beasley, uh, world-renowned Mr. Joe, Reverend Joe. Mr. Beasley, there's conversation going on right now about changing Don Lee Hollowell to Shorty Lowe. Can you give me a few comments on that? Well, I didn't know uh, Shorty Lowe. I'm uh, very uh, sorry to hear about his uh, untimely death. Uh, but I think that uh, Don Lee Hollowell have been really giant in this in this community, and uh, you know the street was just uh, named after after him some you know 20 years ago or so, and I think that from the standpoint of uh, names and that mean something to uh, our people, uh, I have nothing against uh, Shorty Low, uh, but I think that uh, to uh, take the name of a giant like uh, Don Lee Hollowell uh, would be a, a great mistake. And while I can understand uh, uh, his fans uh, wanting uh, that uh, Don to honor, you know, their hero. Uh, but if we look at long way down the road, I think that would be a horrible mistake. And uh, I don't think that the city council, uh, regardless of how many signatures that is put together, I don't think that the council uh, would be open uh, to such a change. All right. The um, student who worked from Georgia Tech on the, his dissertation on the Beltline, which uh, we incorporated him, I think, in the second in command, the one with uh, Southern Partnership Equity. Yeah. They, they resigned. You, can you give me a little info on that, uh, what's going on? Is that regentrification or can't find affordable housing or what? Well, you know, uh, when this uh, Beltline situation got started uh, under Shirley, it's one of the biggest uh, development uh, projects in uh, probably the history of Atlanta. They're going to bring the whole uh, uh, the city where the uh, you know, train used to be. Mm -hmm. And uh, the idea, one of the main ingredient would be to keep it affordable, that everybody could live on the belt line. Now, Commissioner Emma Dardnell had pointed me, uh, pointed me when it first got started as a watchdog, uh, but just what Nathaniel, the other, the other young man that resigned for, uh, I'd served four years on that, on that belt line to get it started. And I really didn't like the direction because uh, they have a board, uh, and which kind of, uh, I think, uh, it's too staff, it's too staff driven. If, uh, if the board is, di is diverse and got objectives to keep, uh, you know, poor people living in Atlanta, then I think that uh, the, the board, uh, the staff work for the board. And if the staff don't have the same vision as the board, rather than the board resigning, it needs to be staff resigning, in my opinion. So, but you, we know that the die has been cast uh, with respect to uh, black removal from Atlanta, and that's why, in reading uh, this article in the supporter report, uh, where the Blank Foundation, who has put up uh, just over two million dollars, almost three million dollars, for Mims Park, and uh, Penny McPhee, who is the president of the Blank Blank Foundation a young lady that I quite frankly admire greatly. I think she's a, a wonderful lady. And some of the dynamics of, of what a name means, especially if it has a connotation to the Confederacy, that make our boil, our, our blood boil. And so I would respectfully say to, to Penny, we need to uh, not to go to uh, the likes of uh, Rodney Mims Cook, for advice, which would be in the historical black community at least for the last 50 or 60 years, and uh, for some some uh, scheme that this uh, gentleman had, had cooked up, and uh, the, the legacy of, uh, of this area, as Mr. Cook described it, is pure fantasy. And so uh, the old Mems Park, which he told a, a bald face lie about, that it was the first integrated park. Uh, in Atlanta, I wish you'd bring me the evidence to suggest that, support that. So I think that uh, Mr. Cook have put together uh, 
a, a tale of what has happened here since uh, Oglethorpe, uh, you know, came to Georgia and called it found at Georgia, which is a, a, a first-class lie, because uh, like Tomachichi, who was a, a Native uh, American that was there uh, to so-called greet uh, the people who were going to take the country over. You know, I think that Tomachichi uh, was a traitor to his own people, and uh, and as a result of his uh, accommodationist uh, notion that uh, his people are now on a reservation. So I see no reason why uh, Tomachichi should be honored, certainly not in the uh, African-American community. Now, now if uh, Mr. Cook won't uh, Tomachichi honor, they can take him up that a buckhead. Uh, but anyway, I just watched with interest last night as the last game for the uh, Braves was played here. And the stadium was packed. And they don't know how ignorant they looked uh, with a tomahawk chop, uh, which is terrible disrespect to, na to Native people, talking about sc scalping. The Native Americans and I've stood at the stadium in the past a number of years ago with my Native American friends and saying to uh, these people don't have a clue how insulting it is to the Native people that we put on a plantation I mean on a reservation uh, it is just and, and the kind of you know things that uh, Mims Cook is talking about uh, you know uh, putting it, the native people mm -hmm. in there. Then he wanted to put his Confederate uncle in there, and now he wanted to put his daddy in there. Now, what I would, would suggest, uh, uh, Rodney Cook's mem was not a bad man uh, to be a white man, but to, quite frankly, he's not, earned, he's not earned the right to be in any park that's in the, in the black community. And, I, and I, 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 the biggest thing that uh, Rodney Mem Cook is uh, known for He's the architect of the modern-day Republican Party. Uh, his mentees are uh, Newt Gingrich and former uh, Senator uh, Coverdale. And I think that what uh, they've done over the last 30 years or so with the dominance of the